Thank you. Hi. You can call me just Alex. It's easier. I have been working with WordPress for many years, and my main specialty is uh, creating content platforms. Today, I want to talk about performance, and especially about the phone's performance. Um, in general, the question about different optimizations is very popular right now. There are many speeches on the conferences, uh, articles on the web, even clients know what is this and why it's so important. But back in the past, the situation was totally different. When we suggested uh, to spend a few more hours for optimizations, uh, usually our clients uh, look at, at us like this. Like this. Yep. And just in the couple of years, uh, they start to uh, react like this. What changed? Uh, of course, uh, the growth of mobile traffic. Uh, but personally, I think that the main reason was this thing. I think everyone is familiar with this tool created by Google uh, that analyzes website and gives you some magic score. And we all know how people are crazy about magic numbers. So let's talk about performance, uh, about optimizations for the people, for the users, not for the tools. Let's talk about phones. I was not able to find uh, who created this uh, quote. But I think he is 95% uh, correct. Uh, that's why the reason, uh, that's why the issue of uh, phone loading is very relevant today. But what exactly is the issue? Let's say uh, you use robot or font on your website. It's, um, the size is only 30 kilobytes, not a big deal. But just robot or regular is not enough for styling content. You will need bold italic, and it's hard to imagine a modern website without light fonts and medium fonts. So it's uh, 240 kilobytes in the total. It can take up to three seconds to load on a regular 3G. Quite a, lo quite a long time. And uh, it's only one font. Usually uh, there are two, three, or more fonts on a website. So it's a big issue. Uh, what actually uh, browsers uh, will do during these three seconds? There are two algorithms. First is a flash of invisible text. It's used uh, by most of all popular browsers. The idea is that browser uh, makes text invisible while font is loading. So even if your site is very light and optimized, uh, your users will not uh, will, will not able to see uh, content uh, for a few seconds more while con font is loading. As you can see on the screen, um, content is loaded in one second, but we can't see it. And agree, it's not the best user experience. Second algorithm is flash of unstyled text. It's still used by some browsers. Uh, the idea is that browser uh, uses uh, local fallback font while custom font is loading. In that case, uh, user can uh, see content immediately, but when custom font is uh, loading, it will replace uh, fallback font, and it's very noticeable. Uh, since different fonts have different sizes of symbols, uh, whole layout will be changed. Um, so if you already started to read the content, you will lose the focus, and it's very annoying. I hate this. So how to deal with these problems? There is no uh, universal solution, but I can recommend three ways. First one is to use web safe phones only. Of course, it's almost impossible in our days, but in some uh, cases, it's acceptable. For example, news websites. Second option is to use WebSafe font on first visit and load custom fonts in the background. So on the next visit, uh, fonts will be already in cache, and you will don't have these problems. And third option is to load font progressively. Uh, I will ta uh, tell more about the last option. First of all, we should have possibility to detect when uh, fonts actually loaded. 
There is a native CSS font loading API, but the browser support is still very bad. Mostly developers use uh, web fonts loader, maintained by TypeKit and Google, or more lightweight version font face of server. The idea is uh, to use web safe font while custom font is loading. Uh, so, in other words, it just um, emulates a flash open style text. It's very important to find uh, web safe fonts uh, very similar to the, your custom font to reduce this ugly flash effect. Uh, the best practice is uh, also uh, to get font even more similar by adding special CCS properties. But of course, nobody uh, uh, likes to spend hours for finding a similar font and especially for calculating these numbers. I'm a lazy person. I don't want to do this. Uh, but I want to make my products the best. Uh, that's why I created a small tool where you can upload custom font, and it will uh, get, give you a list of uh, similar web safe fonts. Also, it will automatically create all necessary CSS properties. As you can see on the slide, uh, adapted Arial looks similar to the Lapa font and take almost the same space. So when you will have this flash effect, it will be not so noticeable. I hope my small presentation will um, help you to make web a bit better. Thank you. <laughs>